Welcome to this musculoskeletal ultrasound series. I'm Dr. Gautam Das from Dorodia, the pain clinic. Here, we'll be posting some of the very important musculoskeletal structure seen under the ultrasound. So first, we'll be demonstrating the 3D anatomy of that particular structures, and then we'll be scanning and demonstrating the different parts in this sonar anatomy. And also, we'll be demonstrating the needle trajectory for the interventional procedure. Common extensor tendon on the lateral side of the elbow. So a lot of muscles are getting attached there. And uh, some of them are forming the common extensor tendon, some not. So this muscle is your brachioradialis. So this is not a part of the common extensor tendon. I'm removing that. After that, this is your extensor carpi radialis longus. So this is also not a part of common extensor tendon. So common extensor tendon, there are four tendons. It starts with extensor carpi radialis brevis, not longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Then I'm removing that. Then the other tendons are extensor digitorum. I'm again removing that. Then is your extensor digiti minimi and then is your extensor carpi ulnaris. So these are the four tendons which forms the common extensor tendon and getting attached into the lateral epicondyle. And in tennis elbow, there is tendinosis of this common extensor tendon. We'll be demonstrating common extensor tendon. The patient will be keeping his elbow over a pillow. The thumb will be facing uh, towards the roof. So this is the aspect marker. I'm keeping aspect marker in the proximal side and uh, I'm getting this image. So here, as you can see, this is the lateral epicondyle and this is the slope of this bone. This is the radial head. So this joint is a radio capitular joint. And uh, here, the common extensor tendons is getting attached in the upper part of this slope. The lower part of this slope, here, the radial collateral ligament is getting attached. That means the lower part, this is the ligamentous part and it intermingles with the annular ligament that is over the head of the radius. So these ligaments are getting intermingled with that. So the upper part, that means this part is the tendinous part. And as you can see, this is the myotendinous junction and this is the purely tendon which is getting attached there. So when we do the interventions, our needle should come like this and we can we should do the multiple fenestrations there at different angle normally around 12 to 15 times we do the fenestration and then we give the prp injections around here even within the tendon and the myotendinous junction here but if you are using the steroid steroid is nowadays normally avoided unless there is clear sign of some inflammation. The PRP is the first choice. And PRP can be given within the tendon, myotendinous junctions in and around. But if you are giving the steroid, then your steroid should be injected either just above this tendinous part or below this tendinous part between the ligament and the tendon there we must not be injecting steroid within the tendons, otherwise there'll be rupture of these tendons. So, as I told, nowadays the platelet-rich plasma is having the best evidence for tennis elbow or tendinosis of this common extensor tendon and it is done in the fashion what I have shown him. Thank you very much.